Be sure to follow our show on Spotify and other podcast streaming services, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out unique video elements for each interview. Live from the Slightly Twisted Deck Bar, it's the Puji Podcast with Justin Lameen. The Puji Podcast is proudly sponsored by Cimarron Golf Club, located in Jacksonville, Florida, off County Road 210, just west of St. John's Parkway. Extremely excited to announce this next guest that we have here on the show. Uh, be, has become a, a close friend of mine, obviously, through work and uh, a great person to talk to about various things throughout life. But um, I do want to welcome on the owner of the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, Ken Babby, to the program. Thanks for being here, Ken. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, bud. Of course. How's everything up uh, up north where you are right now? You and the family doing okay? Yeah, thanks for asking. We're, we're outside of Washington, D.C. Everybody's healthy and well and um, gaining weight like everybody else. Well, that's, that's definitely good to hear. Uh, especially eating well is important during these times. So uh, glad to hear that and glad to hear you all are doing well. But I do want to get into real quick, uh, obviously you do own the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp as well as the Akron Rubber Ducks. Uh, so real quick, if you could, what was it, um, I guess, growing up or, or in your past that led to that passion for baseball, I guess, to the extent of wanting to purchase one team, let alone now two teams? Yeah, so thanks again for having me. You know, it's interesting, growing up around sports, my dad, uh, you know, worked for the Orioles. He was a general counsel uh, for the Orioles, later worked for the Washington Redskins and was a player agent in the NBA for, for a number of years. And so from my, you know, really earliest memories at sports, I was incredibly fortunate to be around the ballpark and riding to games with him and going to spring training and rushing to get my algebra homework done so I could go out and, and, and watch and, and watch games at night. So, you know, I, I think, you know, when you sit back and you think about it somewhere along the way, it must've gotten in my, in my blood, in my DNA about being at the ballpark and, and, and creating great experiences. And, um, you know, it was a passion of mine from a young age to get in the business, spent about 14 years at the Washington post on the digital and, media side of the business uh, and uh, and then and then made the made the segue into sports in 2012 when we bought our first team in uh, in Ohio. Yeah, so you purchased the first team in Ohio and then a few years later you purchased the the team here in Jacksonville. Uh, briefly if you could, it, the name changes to the Rubber Ducks and then obviously to the Jumbo Shrimp. Uh, what was I guess the outlook in doing that and and why did why did you go those routes, I guess? Yeah, it, you know, it's great great question. I mean, I think Ultimately, at the end of the day, um, the, uh, the playbook was a little bit different in each case. In, in, in Akron, uh, the, the, the arrows, the a, spelled A-E-R-O-S, uh, were a, uh, you know, a sort of a legacy minor league baseball team, I guess quite similar to the Suns in Jacksonville. A little different in Akron in that fans had really stopped going to games. The brand, you know, when you'd ask somebody in town, have you been to an arrows game in Akron, they'd say, oh, yeah, I went there for my uh, – son's 10th birthday and you find out the kid was now 22 or 23 years old and so and they hadn't been to a game since and so you know there was a there was a need to sort of um, uh, resurge and ignite the fan experience I think people really needed that uh, and and uh, the, the, the uh, approach in Jacksonville was not terribly dissimilar although minor league baseball was alive and well in Jacksonville when we got there in 2015 and I think it's important to recognize the deep and rich history uh, that the Suns had uh, and, and what baseball had uh, as a minor league team in Jacksonville. When we rebranded as the Jumbo Shrimp, it really was, as you know, an opportunity to really, uh, you know, create some excitement around the franchise. Yeah, and I'm glad you uh, brought up the the deep history and the roots and things because obviously they call baseball America's pastime. And I think out of a lot of the sports, baseball tends to be the most traditional sport as far as families being able to remember going out to the ballpark and parents being able to remember going out with the kids for the birthday parties or team events, whatever it might be. So it's, it's awesome that you mentioned that and obviously recognize that in both cities, that that's not something to be forgotten, but better yet built upon. So uh, it's awesome to be able to, to have that, I guess, uh, foresight moving forward with the teams and everything. Uh, but I guess uh, my next question for you would be, obviously, we are sitting in uncertain times right now. The Jumbo Shrimp would have already been through their first homestand as things stand right now. The weather today is absolutely beautiful, so it's bummer. Rub it in. Bummer. Just rub it in. Yeah. Bummer, bummer not to be at the ballpark. I know uh, we always pray for no rain, and, and beautiful days like today make us miss the ballpark. But I guess what's your outlook on the current situation, and I guess what would you have to say to the fans, the people out there, whether it's in Akron, Jacksonville, or maybe other parks around the uh, country? Yeah, I mean, we're certainly in a, in a really uh, unusual time where, 
as much as we love what we do and love being at the ballpark and creating that great experience for for families, uh, you know, night after night and and watching, you know, great prospects make their way up through the system. There are bigger things going on in our world right now, and we have to realize that you know our business, while we love it and we're you know really passionate about what we do, um, there will be time when when sports will in many ways reunite us and and serve as a catalyst to bring uh, fans back together when it's safe to do so. And so you know right right now we're we're sitting on the sidelines for sure. We're listening to the advice of public officials. I spend a good portion of my day on conference calls with league officials, health officials, uh, you know, major league buddies, people that are, that are in the business and we're all searching for answers. And what's amazing is, you know, at this point, we're all very much in a wait and see approach. I, I spoke with, um, you know, a, a very well-respected CEO of a hospital this morning. And even he said to me, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when sports is going to resume. I'm not sure when it's going to be safe for big crowds to, uh, to get back in the ballpark. But what I do know is that when that does happen, the, the foundation and fundamentals of what we've created in, in Jacksonville and Akron and what minor league baseball means throughout the country is alive and well and strong. And, and when it's safe to return, I know people are clamoring to get out of their homes and, and, and have those, you know, those great memories and that cold beer and, uh, and, and, those great, and that great food at the ballpark. So we will be back. Baseball has always, and I, I said this to a um, radio station this morning, I'll say it again now, you know, baseball has always bounced back. If you look historically, you know, through multiple wars, through uh, terrorist attacks, awful events of 9-11, and you think about, you know, what that was like for baseball to return in New York City. Um, and then going all the way back to the last pandemic, you take one Google baseball games after, uh, you know, the, the last pandemic, and you'll see guys on the field with their masks playing. And it's, 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 it's hard to believe that that would have ever been the case. And now we sit here and say, well, maybe that's not such a crazy idea after all. So um, history has a funny way of repeating itself, I think, to keep us humble. Um, we, we took for granted a lot of the great things that we could do, you know, going out with our family and having dinner and, and, and going to a concert, going to a ball game. But those things will be back when it's safe. And, and I can promise you, we're going to be leaders in, in doing that and keeping our fans safe along that journey. And I like how you mentioned kind of getting back to that sense of normalcy as soon as it's safe to do so. And talking about baseball bouncing back is such a key in that because you look like you mentioned those certain events that have happened in the past. There's always been that little bit of a bounce back that's really brought the country together uh, from corner to corner, from coast to coast. Uh, sports has a funny, unique way of doing that. It's a nice outlet for people to be able to get out of the house and, and kind of forget about their everyday worries that they might have and just be able to enjoy something that they're passionate about um, that may be, might seem trivial to a certain extent sometimes. So uh, it, is, it is going to be exciting to get back to the ballpark, of course. Tons of fun promotions, obviously, here in Jacksonville with Firework Fridays, first uh, five Saturdays with fireworks this year. Kids run the bases on Sundays. Kids play catch on the field on Sundays, giveaways on Saturdays. So tons of stuff here in Jacksonville that you and, and upper management's obviously done a great job of putting together and getting the people in Jacksonville excited about minor league baseball. Um, as we mentioned, it is a traditional type game, and it's enjoyable to see all the families return year after year. And looking forward to getting back to the ballpark as soon as that may be. But, Ken, again, thank you for jumping on here and giving a little bit of uh, your words and thoughts to the people here in town and, and look forward to seeing you next time you're here in Jacksonville, okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. We're in it for the long haul. You know, as, as you know all too well, uh, we, we just signed a long-term lease extension with the city. Proud to have one to one Financial as our naming rights partner. So we're not going anywhere. We're committed to being here, not through only this, but for decades to come in Jacksonville. And we can't wait to get back to doing what we love in front of our fans. Awesome to hear that, Ken. Well, thanks again for being here. My pleasure.